What's up everyone, MK Tom Brady here. So in this video, look, I'm really just gonna lay it all out here, guys. I am very heartbroken for Sub-Zero in this patch. And listen, I know people are gonna say, oh, Tom, you're just trying to farm the hate views. So look, I'm gonna finish with Sub-Zero, but I'm not gonna start with Sub-Zero because I really want you guys to see where I'm coming from on this. Uh, I know, you know, people have asked me, like, in the recent months, hey, are you going to talk about Sub-Zero? Maybe changes you would do. Uh, but I said I was going to wait at least six months before I ever talked about Sub-Zero again, just because, you know, the, I guess, for lack of a better word, the shells have always said you need to wait at least six months until this game would be considered, quote, unquote, complete. So I waited six months. Here we are now. And... You know, I know people, again, they're going to say, oh, you're just an MK hater. Look, I love MK. I want to love this game. And look, I'm not going to talk about my feelings on some of the nerfs. I'll do that in another video. But I love a lot of the things they gave in this patch. Like, I really do love that. So when people say, Tom, how can you not see Reptile? Or look, look at Ermac doing these cancel combos, all this cool stuff. How can you not be happy and excited? Well, I am. And I'm going to go to that here and kind of show a few things here because I do get excited. When I see stuff like this, I get very excited. And then I play Sub-Zero and I realize, oh, well, there's nothing to be excited about here. And this is what I'm talking about. So I love the projectile they gave Reptile. Like, look look at the cool, how cool this looks. Uh, you know, like this stuff is really, really cool. Um... They really, I think, put like a, some flair on this character here and really kind of made him his own his own character now as opposed to, well, he's just going to play the generic, you know, MK one way. So what they did was they allow you to cancel while you're airborne into this move here and you can cancel this move by holding down. So this opens up cancel combos. Like this is all one combo here. I'm all for stuff like this. Anything that allows some player to have some freestyle and some creativity, allow them to put their own expression on a character. Uh, I'm, I'm all for that 100%. Like, I absolutely love it. And something that's really, really cool about this is they gave him something else that I don't know how much is being talked about. I think Honeybee's talked about it, but I really just want to go over this here before I get to Sub-Zero. First thing I want to show you guys is... Uh, establish that you can't armor through that. I just wanted to establish that for the sake of the video here. So what you can do is if you notice here, you're when you use the EX version, you're in, invisible for a little bit. So what you can actually do, oops. And then you can come in and with advantage do stuff while invisible. And that's really, really cool. I know some people are like, oh, but Tom, you know, that's just, you know, that's just striker stuff. You know, I know a lot, a lot of people, you know, say stuff like that. You know, so, I mean, oh, well, what if you have another cameo? Because you can do this off like several things. Um, but I, I'm going to get to, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. So just in general, what if you don't have striker, for example? Right? This is what, what got me the most excited when I see stuff like this. Cam characters should not be bound to cameos. In other words, there are always going to be cameos that are going to work better with you, some not as good, and some don't work at all. But I don't think it should be a case where one character can only even be a face on the select screen unless they pick this one cameo. Because then you're not your character. You're only your cameo. And your fate is tied to the cameo, not your character at all. And Reptile, he's not in that category anymore. So say, for example, there was a matchup where Shujinka would be the best cameo for, now that Shujinka got all these buffs. Well, Reptile could do that, and it's not going to kill him for it, whereas there are a few characters that that wouldn't work out so well for them because they can't even do anything without the cameo. So, for example, this right here, it's minus seven. So this is punishable by a down one by Johnny Cage, a character like Kung Lao is going to kill you for it with back one, full combo. And let's go ahead and put this on reversal shadow kick. So if you do this, it's still minus 10. Johnny Cage is going to get a shadow kick. Something like this is still minus 8. Johnny Cage is going to get a shadow kick. However, 
EX has armor. So there's counterplay to this, right? So if he's going to try to, okay, well, you're going to do this, so I don't keep my pressure, I'm going to punish you. Okay, well, I'm going to spend my bar and punish you. And then, well, now he's not going to do it all, and you're going to respace and get away for free, or you might call striker there instead of when you flip back, and then I have to block striker because they were not going to armor because you might EX and have armor as well. There's a whole, like, mind game element to this kind of stuff which i think is really really good and i love seeing like not caveman stuff so like actual like cerebral gameplay where there's a mind game and there's one layer to this and then you bait that and there's a counterplay and there's a counterplay to the counterplay that situation and stuff they gave reptile here is really cool and that really made him his own character like things like this have opened up a world of possibilities for him now let's try that exact same scenario as Sub-Zero. Now, we already know the King Gambler special, Shadow Kick into Goro, you're going up, call air traffic control. So we already know that. Shadow Kick with Goro equals launcher, point blank period. So I'm going to try, well first I want to establish just how unsafe the Ice Clone is. I want you to know what, how cancel advantage works. So this move is plus 16. But you see that bottom right thing, it says cancel advantage. That means if I do a special off of this, I'm actually plus 32 because I'm canceling out of the animation. So this is plus 32. Let's see if I can actually time the punish here. Easy. Plus, of course, I could time it. You're minus 100 million billion. So we already established this move is not safe on hit. It's so negative. So look, and look, there should be counterplay to stuff. Like I'm not advocating for like safe anything or no counterplay. So like, for example, Sub-Zero, to do something like this, this should not really be totally safe. There should be counterplay to it. Of course, when you have this long, like look how long you can wait. And because of that, let's say I do, I'm do. i gonna do what Reptile does. Oh, okay, all right, well, NRS gave me this move here, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. But I'm already doing the move so late anyway because I can see what's going on that I'm gonna catch both. So there's no way to keep yourself safe. You can really never do this move, you know, and, and, and keep yourself safe. There's no, like, like mind game to it. And not only in these situations here, um, I just don't understand overall why he's so unsafe, I guess. Like, I don't understand that part of it. So, for example, like, let's say I've got uh, good old Quan Chi here and Sub-Zero. And this is not a Quan Chi thing. This is a Sub-Zero thing. So... He's got more than just Ice Clone, obviously. Like, let's say Deadly Vapors, right? So you got Deadly Vapors. Um, because obviously we all know you can't use Clone on Quan Chi because he'll just, you know, stand for you every time. So we've got this move here. Well, even if you're, I guess it doesn't really matter where you are, it's an easy punish. Can't do that move anywhere on the screen. Ice Clone, I mean, don't even make me laugh. Like, if you want a good laugh, you can try to do this move and get punished for free every single time. And again, like, I don't really know if you realize just how long you can wait to punish this, but it's quite a long time. E easy punish. And I can even delay it even longer than that, but I don't want to be here all day. And then we have, like, I'm not going to go through all the characters. I'm just going to end here with Ermac before I make my point. Uh, and then we have uh, Ermac. And this also is extremely frustrating as well. So we have Ermac here, where anytime you're in range, of like his push or his lift or anything like that, I mean, it's going to be a punish if you're going to try to clone or, or, or anything like that. And let's go ahead and do this. So just so you can see just how much time you have. And I did a video that like you, you have quite a long time to do this. Uh, I didn't get to stand two there. And you don't have to do that. You can just do stand two and a dash cancel on something as well. But it's a meterless combo starter there. Also, if you really want to see how long you have to wait. Oh, wait, a, wait a little too long. I just want to show, like, just how long you actually have here. I'm trying to see the maximum. Look at how late that was. I'm just trying to really time it. Wow. Okay, even even I didn't think that was going to... So you have so much time to really punish this move here that... It's almost impossible not to punish. It's like I said, it's unsafe on hit. And these are some of the things that just kind of confuse me 
about this character, like why is he so unsafe? And like I said, I know someone's gonna say Chameleon, and before I attack, well, just in general, I know with Chameleon, he's a little better, but again, it's still, it's just a generic character. Full screen move into Katana. Okay, well, that's, everyone does that. Or anyone that has a low will do low into Molina overhead or just overhead. Or, oh, do this move into the Jade Glaive. Okay, well, everyone does that. It's not a synergy. It's a standardized up to just try to barely make him up to par. But if Chameleon even got a 1% nerf, Sub-Zero would go back to being completely unplayable. And that is something that should never happen. What they did to Reptile, they should do to a lot of characters, not just Sub-Zero. And I guess I just don't understand why he's so unsafe. Like, why is this character so unsafe? That is kind of like where I am here. Like, I, I just don't understand it. And my, what changes would I make to this character? I'm, I'm going to go over a few of them here. So... Doesn't really matter what cameo I pick, I'm not, I don't really care. So here are my Sub-Zero changes here. So for one, just with his normals, what I would do is I would make, there's an armor gap here. I have no idea why. There's an armor gap between one, two, and two, one. He really has an armor gap between every hit of every string of every move, which to me is like mind blowing. So this has an armor gap. I would remove the armor gap between at least one, two. I don't, I mean, 2-1, I don't really care, but at least 1-2, there should not be an armor gap there. And I'm just trying to be reasonable here, because I know if I mention anything too reasonable, people are going to say he's going to be broken. So I'm trying to be reasonable, because I know the community has a hard-on for keeping this character, like, not what he's meant to be. So, just for the sake of avoiding a riot, like, personally, I would remove the armor gap on 1-2 and 2-1, and, uh... I could keep the minus seven because I'm gonna do some changes to Ice Clone. But you would still be able to armor out of the third hit of these strings. This string here is weird because not only is it death on block, like Ermac has a, th a, a string, three hits, two hits are zero on block, ends in a low, also safe. And look, I'm okay with that. And I'm this right here, I'm okay with it having the armor gap, but I'm not okay with it having an armor gap and still being death on block. Like what is the purpose of doubly making sure like you're gonna die here so what i would do is i would keep the armor gap on the last hit but i would make this move like minus six and it's just a knockdown the load is five percent i promise you you're not gonna like lose your whole life bar over it uh i would do that to that string here i also keep in mind he has an armor gap in between this string here but i would not remove this armor gap so he can still keep that there it's just because there are some cameos like i said like melina I'm not trying to have people be stuck having to guess all day with no counterplay. And when it comes to the Ice Clone, so for right now, this move is just way too unsafe. So what I would do is open like a counterplay option. For one, I would make it a read to have to punish. Like I'm not saying it shouldn't be punishable. I'm not saying it should be safe, but it should be a mind game. You should have the option to punish. It should be read versus read. So if you, if you make it a little safer, like say like minus 22, Again, I'm saying minus 22, not like zero here. If you make it like minus 22, they will still be able to read this right here and punish it every single time. Every single time they will be able to read it and punish it. And I think that's fair. However, um, I would take the cooldown and I would revert it from five seconds. Right now this move, from five to three. Because right now this move is so unsafe and it has half the cooldown of a fatal blow cooldown is 10 seconds. This move has a five second cooldown. I would still, I would make it a three second cooldown. This character already has enough damage scaling as it is. Like, I don't really see the problem. And uh, then I would take the, the three clones here, right? These three clones, what I would do is I would make the two ones that come out, come out much faster and much lower to the ground. So right now they don't come out till he's all the way in the air. I would make him come out right away, like bam, 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 much faster. All keep them very horizontal, low to the ground, so that if someone does an armor move, it will break it and freeze them. They'll still be counterplay to that. You can always pick a teleport character to get around that. I'm sure they'll still punish it. I'm sure this won't be safe against everybody. Again, I'm not saying bad matchup shouldn't happen. I'm not saying counterplay shouldn't happen, but there should be like mind games that both goes both goes uh, bo go both ways, as opposed to good luck, you'll never do it. See you next year. 
And look, there are the regular ice ball. Look, I'm not gonna fight this. Like I understand that uh, he's got the EX Deadly Vapors here. That's fine. I'm not asking for Ice Ball to be faster to combo into Ice Ball for meter or stuff. But I think the EX Ice Ball should at least be significantly faster. In MKX, this move was 21 frames. I know we're not in MKX anymore. I would make this move at least 25 frames. At the bare minimum, 25. And... I mean, he could still use it in combos instead of Deadly Vapors. The difference is I would revert some of the damage scaling on Deadly Vapors to be not just like the beta, but closer to that. This way, while you could use this for a longer freeze time, uh, you would not You would have the damage scaling on it, and this you would, would, would be more damage. You wouldn't have damage scaling on this. So that, I guess, would be like the, the perk of it. Uh, then there is Sub-Zero Slide. And as far as this move here... It's 14 frames, so in MK9, this move was 9 frames. In MKX, this move was 9 frames, extremely fast. And in MK11, this move was 11 frames, also extremely fast. This game, it's 14, but I understand. Like, it goes full screen. So what I would do is I would make it 16, but I would make it so... So it takes him too long to go in a crouch, which means you're here. If someone does a fireball, you're going to try to slide it. You're going to get hit in the face because you can't go under it fast enough. So I slow it down a little bit so it actually takes reactions. Like if a move, this move is nine frames or like 11 frames, it doesn't take like godlike reactions to duck a fireball and get to punish it on t out on time. But if it's like 16, for example, even slower than it is now, and you're like all the way out here and someone does a projectile, to be able to react to it and get the move out fast enough before you block does take some reaction. It's not like brain dead. So I would slow it down to 16 frames, but allow it to go under highs. I think it would be five and fine at 14 to go under highs still. But again, this is the Mortal Kombat community, and anything you give Sub-Zero, they will literally like have a riot on. And I'm also not opposed to his dive kick being more... Look, I know you can have it as much as minus two. Look, you can always up-block this. But I know people are like, oh, he'll do instant dive kick. And it'll be so low to the ground, and I can't react to it with up block. And then he's safe. Okay, well, make it, I don't know, make it more negative. So even if he does it, like, lower to the ground, it's significantly more negative. Like, I'm not going to die over this dive kick being, you know, more negative on block here. I don't even care if this right here ends up being, like, minus, like, like minus nine. Like, I'm not going to die here. I mean, most of the time we do this, we're already dead anyway because of up block, so... Whether we're dead with just blocking it or dead with up block, like if you give him other tools, that really won't matter. And also, he'll have other ways to play. So, you're not bound fighting Quan Chi doing stuff like this and getting kicked in the face. It's not a Quan Chi issue, it's a Sub Zero issue because you can take the fight to people as well and have your own like little mind game and, and meta game. Now, for those who say Sub Zero is fine, no changes at all, you gotta hold that, Tom. Let me remind you. At the bare minimum, if this move stays the way it is, as it is, this move should have no cooldown at all. It already has half the cooldown of a Fatal Blow. And it is more unsafe than a Fatal Blow. And the reality is, for it to be this unsafe, it probably shouldn't have any cooldown at all. So if you're going to keep it as it is, just remove the cooldown altogether. I mean, and yet somehow people would still cry about that. But... This is what I mean by my frustrations with this character. Like, I just see so much of what people can do and are doing now. And I'm like, well, when? And wait till next month, Tom? I got bad news. It's not going to happen next month. If you're a Sub-Zero player, they more than likely will never, never change it. By the way, the EX clone is bugged. There are two different versions of it. Like, there's a two version of it, and there's a one bar version of it. So, Netherrealm, if you do anything that what I'm talking about here, please do not penalize him by saying, oh, well, this right here is now going to be the two. Because right now, it's, there's a two bar version, and there's a one bar version. The one bar version is a bug. Keep the one bar version because you have no problem having a character like Reptile having armor, like almost like a flash parry for one bar to beat armor. Well, there should be no difference here either. Um, and of course, the move is still bugged. There's still two different versions of the same move. It's the same move, but two different resource cores. 
uh, a cost because it's bugged. So go figure. In my opinion, you know, characters should not be bound to one cameo. There should be options. Characters should be good characters. Cameos are plus one. No, if it doesn't mean every cameo should work with a character. You should have maybe a couple, you know, maybe three of them that work differently. And, you know, so your fate is not bound to one cameo. You can kind of move around and pick cameos based upon matchups as opposed to uh, I can't do anything without this. And again, a character like Chameleon, I mean, it's not even that she's good. Her best ability is availability. And if they get rid of availability, then she's just, you know, then Sub-Zero's in the dirt. And, uh, yeah, I just don't. It's, I am excited for this patch and the changes they made. I'm just not excited when I play Sub-Zero. For anyone who says, oh, for Christ's sake, Tom, just pick somebody else. Look, man, we get into these games because we love things. The game, the character. And if you're going to, like, say you should have... People get into games for... There's a certain love in games. And like when you hear Mike Cottle talk about how he loves Feng Wei or he loves Marduk, some of that keeps us around, right? Our love for not just the game, but the characters that we love. And like, right now I'm just the kid watching everyone else have fun. And there are other people like Havoc Means. Like imagine how they feel right now. Like this is not Christmas morning for a Havoc Man, I promise you. Um, just unfortunate. I just wish NRS would do something. But thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for more content.